final, Susie O'Neill, top of green for Australia, goes from lane one. There's Francisca Van Almsick, who's come into the final very controversially, qualified ninth fastest. Her teammate, Dagmar Haas, pulled out, said she was ill. Van Almsick's come in. The rumours have been flying around the stadium all day. The checkbook apparently been very, very handy, but let's, it's, the big surprise packet is the Chinese girl. We know they've been taking their vitamins. It's a matter of how fast she's going to go. And Paul is in great touch. Look for her to be finishing off very strongly. Thank you, Mark. From the top, Susie O'Neill, Australia. Ying Lee of China in two. Jacobs of Denmark in lane three was a bit slow. Bin Lu got out very fast in lane five. Claudia Pohl in lane four. Lane eight, Van Helmstick right up there early. Hazlitt is in lane seven of the US and Tusha in lane six for the US. But Van Helmstick looks like she might just be leading with Bin Lu and they're going quickly at the first 50. Let's look for a split of 27 low. Of 27 low. Van Helmstick is well and truly out there with Bin Lu. 27 to one, the pace is on and we could be looking at a world record. Well, Van Elmstick today seemed to take it very, very quietly in the heat and got swum out, but has gone back into the final. She was second in the Olympic Games in 1992. Bin Lu going very strongly, and so is Claudia Pohl in lane four from Costa Rica. Susie O'Neill at the moment is in seventh position. She's placed very well, Paul, on the shoulder of Bin Lu. Van Elmstick always out there, as you'd expect. They've turned in 56-6-2. If they hang on, this is going to be a world record. O'Neill split 58 7 8 seventh place. Bin Lu leading from Van Almsick at halfway. We could see another world record in the ball in Rome. Van Almsick in lane number eight, closest to camera with Bin Lu, and moving up Claudia Pohl, who won the Goodwill Games from Costa Rica. She's in a position to challenge Bin Lu. Bin Lu was second in the 100 metres final. In fact, Claudia Pohl has got up alongside of her, and we could be seeing the Costa Rican coming home. This is going to be a great finish. Van Olsic looks to be tired. Bin Lu got a great turn there, but Claudia Pohl will pull herself out of the water. But look at the length of Bin Lu. There was 0.4 of a second between them at that turn. Bin Lu accelerates again. Van Olsic is right up with them in lane eight. Well, Van Olsic may be in front of Bin Lu. The crowd are roaring here. Van Elsick and Bin Lu, they're across the water. Van Elsick may outtouch Bin Lu. Van Elsick from Germany, Bin Lu from China. They're going stroke for stroke. Van Elsick, I think, won. She has the world record. She has broken the world record. Extraordinary. Well, there'll be a story here. There'll be a very big story here, I can tell you. This woman did not qualify for the final. She finished ninth. Her teammate withdrew with an illness and Van Elmstick has been put into the final. The rumours today have been flying around this stadium left, right and centre. All sorts of stories. Talk about how much money Van Elmstick has been paid to compete at these championships, her sponsorships, etc. Well, tonight she has answered her critics in the most sensational fashion. And in like in the 100, both girls have gone under the old world record. There's the official result. World record to the winner, Van Elmstick. World record, well, doesn't count for Bin Lu, but inside the old one. Claudia Pohl, what a swim. 157.61 for her. And Susan O'Neill should be very proud of that swim in the top six.